Have you heard the news that South Korean convenience stores are selling gold bullion in vending machines? Would you buy your gold this way? What are the benefits of buying gold this conveniently? And what are the risks? Buying gold from a machine, coming right up. Previously on Silver Heist. To see more, please subscribe. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. I've been making videos on YouTube for five years and I wanna thank Scorpion Metals for crafting this major award for me, celebrating our 20,000 subscribers. So I appreciate you watching our video today. Today's video is going to highlight the news of people buying gold bullion from vending machines. What would be your benefits or your risk in buying gold this way? Now, if you like to hold your wealth in tangible assets, Atmex is a trusted online bullion dealer that buys silver and gold coins directly from the U.S. Mint. Link in the description below. Are machines the future? Do you think Americans are ready to buy gold of various sizes from a vending machine? If gold was even more convenient to buy than it is today, do you think there'd be more people purchasing? And then how about a vending machine for silver? And if you stay to the very end, I will reveal the punchline. What if the U.S. Capitol put gold vending machines in the halls of Congress? So here's the news. From Zero Hedge, but via UPI, June 16th, 2023, Korean convenience stores selling gold bars in vending machines. The popularity of gold bars is surging at convenience stores around South Korea as the value appreciates amid strong inflationary pressure across the globe. GS Retail confirmed Friday that sales of gold bars at its convenience stores totaled $19 million in the past nine months ending in May. The gold bars, dispensed through vending machines, were introduced last September at five of its stores, the machines offer five sizes weighing 0.13 troy ounces to 1.3 troy ounces. Prices fluctuate daily in keeping with the international valuation for gold, according to GS Retail, which operates more than 10,000 convenience stores all over South Korea. The popularity of gold bars at its stores has prompted the company to increase the number of outlets carrying them from 29 with plans to hit 50 by year end. With the upside being that this one store operates 10,000 convenience stores all across South Korea. The most popular gold bar is the smallest, the 0.13 ounce one, which is currently priced around $225, a GS retail representative told UPI News Korea. People in their 20s and 30s appear to be the main buyers purchasing physical gold as an investment vehicle, especially in times such as these when its value is continuing to rise. The gold price started to jump in March amid Silicon Valley Bank's collapse and with people moving to gold as a safe haven. Persistent inflation and the Silicon Valley Bank crisis seem to have caused more people to be interested in anti-inflationary assets such as gold, university professor Lee on he said in a phone interview, but a gold bar purchased at a convenience store seems more like something done in fun rather than as a means for serious investment. I believe the popularity of these gold bars is mainly due to its easy accessibility at convenience stores, no less, she said. Hey, what's wrong with fun? And what's wrong with convenient? A convenience store sounds very convenient. Now, how about a silver vending machine? What if you went up to a machine with a $20 bill and just put it in the machine and then all of a sudden silver quarters popped out? So it's sort of like a laundromat machine or a car wash machine. You put $15 in or $20 in and all of a sudden instead of getting change, you actually get silver quarters or a combination of silver quarters and dimes. You could just program the machine. There's already machines that can read $10 bills and 20s and 5s and 1s. And you would just program the machine to, it, you would need $16 to get $1 face or $20 or whatever the price is at the time. 
I think if I owned a coin store, I would just pick up one of those car wash change machines and I would just program it for $20 face and I would give the appropriate amount of junk silver, fun and convenient and fast. If you went into your coin store with a $20 bill, you could leave very quickly and conveniently with a new stash of constitutional silver. These South Korean gold vending machines appear to be more like touchscreen oriented rather than seeing and interacting with the product itself. Isn't a snack machine more enticing with all the colorful packaging of the yellow Lay's potato chips or the orange Reese's peanut butter cups? So I think a vending machine should be fun. If you had a vending machine that was selling one gram gold bars, when you hand your money over, don't you want to see the real product and not just a choice on a TV screen? Isn't it more exciting to see that spiral corkscrew push your candy bar into the drop zone? I would make a bullion vending machine as interactive as possible, even up to the point of the machine snapping off a gold maple gram right in front of you. So you know the problem with like those spiral vending machines? So the problem is after you put the money into the machine, your item starts to get spiraled out and it's supposed to sort of hit the edge and drop into the pickup zone. But the last second, it kind of gets hung up and then it's stuck there. And so now you've put your money in, but you haven't gotten your item out. So now what do you do? So when you've paid for your snack or your bullion and your item is just dangling there, that's when things get crazy. Have you ever heard that people actually get killed by vending machines? Vending machines are heavy, so when people push the vending machine to try and shake their item loose, unfortunately, those 500, 900 pound vending machines ending up landing on people and literally they get crushed to death all over a couple of dollar snack. So imagine what would happen if your $200 gold coin was just hanging there and you couldn't get to it. So when your gold snack is hanging there and it's not breaking free, possibly your next move is double or nothing. You put more money into the machine and so that you actually start to push a second one out and then the first one drops and then is the second one going to drop or is it going to get stuck? Hopefully the second one drops and now you've paid for two and you've received two. But if you walk away empty handed, the next person's gonna come and see your snack, your gold snack just hanging there precariously. They're gonna put in their cash and they're going to get one and quite possibly two. So buy one, get a second snack free. Now what would happen if they installed gold vending machines at the US Capitol? Well, well, that would prove the point. In the halls of Congress, the only sound money is in the halls. Let us know your thoughts on gold vending machines or silver change machines. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.